Welcome back, everyone, to the show. Chris, did you know that CES was this week? I did not. You didn't text me Just tell like me. last year. You had no idea. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's always like the first full week in January. I so you. now you know for next year. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to start out and say, kind of disappointed in this year's CES really? show. There was a lot of stuff, but nothing that struck, that struck me as like, I need that or... I mean, okay, there's a few things, and we'll get into that. But, like, overall, it wasn't like last year where, like, I didn't know what to talk about because there's so much to talk about. This year, I was like, I don't know what to talk about because... Nothing really amazed you. Nothing stood out as, like, oh, man, that's so new. Most of it's just news or, like, hey, you remember these products we've been talking about? Well, here's ones that actually, like, do what you'd expect them to do. Gotcha. Or here's the price of Oculus Rift, finally. Or here's a million drones and cameras and more TVs and cars and smart watches stuff but it's like all stuff we've so seen. already seen and like it, I get it like are you comparing it from last year oh well, last year really wasn't a lot of new stuff it was just more stuff that I was interested in this year everything that they talked about I was just like I'm not interested in that right now because like I either already have that like need filled or like I'm not going to buy a refrigerator for an apartment. Mm-hmm. And I'd love to buy a new TV, but Rachel's like, we don't need a new TV. We have one that works fine. I'm like, no, we need two TVs because then we can watch TV and play video games. Exactly. And she's like, why would we need to do that? I think it's a great idea. I think so. She does. She does. Anyways, CES. So here's some things that are interesting. Samsung Gear S2. Okay, those have been those are been saying they've been releasing. Samsung Gear, it's a good watch. It's Android. It's mm-hmm. a Samsung watch that you know works with your Samsung phones, whatever. Dude, the new the new setup from far away looks so good. I showed you the pictures. Yes, I have seen update. I have I got an update that we were. I don't know if we're getting them in the store, but we'd be able to order them. I don't know how great they look in person, how well they work. The article I I was looking at didn't really go into them a lot. And the pictures, some of those watch faces from a distance will look like a real watch. And no one will even... Okay, maybe in person you'll be able to tell more because like it's a screen if, and it'll probably glare. If I were to look at this, but I would like, probably notice. But at a distance... At a distance, like people are going to think you're just wearing a normal watch. And that's kind of cool. You guys on camera would probably think we were wearing a normal watch. You guys on camera are probably like, why are we so far away? Exactly. I would love to explain that, but it, it's, it's not completely our fault. It's just the way the camera setup in the room works out i'm working on it i mostly i just need meerkat to let me record in paris in landscape mode though mm-hmm. it's meerkat that won't let us do that it's right it's fault if meerkat would let me do in landscape i could sideways bring you up real close it'd be great but whatever anyways uh that smart watch looks great yes still not gonna buy one because my pebble is working awesome where's your pebble let's not talk about that right now did you break it Kind of. What'd you smash into? I didn't smash it. I didn't smash it. I had to put the um, I had to put uh, it fell off the oh, shoot the band. Oh, fell the band off. fell off. So I like unscrewed it and I pulled the back piece off to put it in there, and I pulled something out of the back piece. So now Wait. it's like glitching a little bit. Why did you unscrew it? The tabs like just push in and then you I like a normal watch band. I didn't realize that. I've no. never really owned a watch, so now I've got to get something fixed internally, and I haven't had time to take a look at it yet because it's Fair glitch- it's glitching and it's not sliding yes. properly. Happy New Year, Vicky Icky. She said Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm your cat. Um, yeah, watch bands, like, you just have the little tabs and you yeah. can push them in. They just... Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought I told you that when you were asking about the bands. Well, I forgot. I, it's I, all good. I, I, was, I was in listening to music. It's a great and, watch. And it fell off. It's, it's all good. I'm not going to hate you on that because, you know, it makes sense. Like, you, anything else, you would have to unscrew to do yeah. that. So, it makes well, sense. Well, if we think you can take a look at it and maybe fix it, we can. I think I know which tab it is. If there's a tab in there that needs to be, like, pushed down flush. We so can it's not take glitching. a look at it. Okay. Um. So, that's watches. Now, Chris, we all know I have a slightly strange obsession with refrigerators. You do? I mean, okay, not with refrigerators, but with smart refrigerators. Mm-hmm. Because I want a smart refrigerator. I really, really want one. And I told Rachel, when we get a house, I want a smart refrigerator. All the other appliances, I don't care about. I don't need a smart oven because why am I going to cook when I'm not home? Mm -hmm. 
I don't need a smart dishwasher because nope. why am I going to do dishes when I'm not home? I don't need a smart microwave because I'm not going to run the microwave when I'm not home. Well, I don't even care if I don't have a smart washer and dryer, although I want one. I think those would be better. Because you could put all the clothes in the washer, put the soap in, and then start it before you get home. So that way, once you get home, it's ready to transfer into the dryer. Mm -hmm. And then your clothes don't sit in the washer all day. Wet. They sit in the washer all day. They just don't sit in there wet all day. Or if it was a washer dryer in one... Maybe that, even that would, would be, be great. cool. There was a washer and dryer in one that was shown at CES. Not the first of its kind, but probably the better More working advanced. ones. Yep. Yeah. Back to the refrigerator. Samsung shot off a refrigerator that had first off this huge display on it. It was like, I mean, it was probably this tall. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's great. Makes great audio showing you with my hands. <laughs> but what I liked about this refrigerator more than anything, and why. More than any other smart refrigerator, it is actually one worth buying. When you close the doors, it takes a picture of everything inside your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So when you're at the store and want to know what's in your refrigerator, you just pull up the picture. Ah, okay, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm you not don't have lie. to scan everything in and no. tell it what you're putting in and taking out. It just takes a picture every time you close the door. That's a lot better. That's so easy. I mean, you're obsessed with smart. It's you're, so smart to just be like, yeah. take a picture of inside the fridge, and then you can see everything in there. Because your milk, like, isn't ever in the back of the fridge. It's always in the front. It's always in the front. So you, you can see how much milk you have. You know, the stuff that you buy on a regular mm -hmm. basis. You're like, how much milk? How many eggs? Well, I guess you can't see the eggs because they're in the card. But yeah. you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, you can see actually what's in the fridge. Or the freezer, I guess. But I want one now. You're obsessed I with... I finally yeah. want that works like smart yes it's actually smart everything else you have to tell it what's in there you might as well just do it on your ipad this one knows and i mean it does other stuff like there's like you can like set it up to like order groceries for you stuff like it, it does some other cool things they if, in bigger cities what we talked about is it should link itself to amazon mm -hmm. grocery mm -hmm. there's other free delivery That'd services. Be awesome. i mean there's other ones that do food, mm -hmm. food delivery but uh i don't I want to know when I'm at the grocery store and be able to pull it up and see what's in my fridge. And now I can. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could. If I bought the Samsung refrigerator, that's like $5,000. You like... you? Did I say $5,000? $5,000. I did say $5,000. That's not too bad. It's not bad for a refrigerator that tells you what's inside no. of it. By the time I'm buying one, it'll probably be down at least $1,000. Oh, yeah. I mean, what do, you, what do you pay for a fridge now if you want a you know, semi-decent one? $1,000? At least $1,000 thousand probably, dollar, yeah. yeah. That's not too bad at all. I'd pay four thousand more for I think one so. that takes pictures. I mean, refrigerators last for a long time. If I time. had the budget, Typ definitely. Typically, a refrigerator will last you a long time. Mm -hmm. It's a good investment, I think. You like smart fridges? I like fridges because they hold food. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I, I like know. fridges, but I wouldn't really care much about the. I shouldn't say I wouldn't care about the refrigerator. When we we're buying a washer and dryer, I like had to look at every washer and dryer and like, I like these ones. They work great, but I would have bought like a nicer model not because it was nicer mm. just because i was like all oh, the features and you know i'm, I'm weird the, i just i those, like to buy cool stuff it's cool you know i want cool i've always grown up with the lid for the washing machine to be on top mm -hmm. and so when i first mm -hmm. when they started coming out with top the ones loaders with the, i don't yeah. like the side loader washer they, they scare me they, here's the thing a side loader washer it's cool i get it's easier if it leaks mm -hmm. if a top loader leaks it's a really bad day because something is really wrong yes a side one, I feel like that's a le easier to leak for not as bad of a problem. Exactly. I'll keep a top loader, thank you. That's, I would like a top loader. I have and, a top loader. It's great. And plus, you know, you can kind of, you know, you don't have to pull on the side and bend over. You can just, you know. I mean, I have to bend over to reach to the bottom. I mean, it's, but... I, I would just have a top loader. I'll keep a top loader. I have a side loader dryer because that's pretty normal. I mean, that's a normal. I, I think I think it's very rare to have a top loader dryer. Mm -hmm. You know what I need? This is what, I, this is what we really need. I don't need a washer and dryer that's the same unit. I need a washer that's like on top. You know, like the stacked ones? Yes, the ones in the condos. Great. Stacked is mm -hmm. awesome. But I want it when it's done. The washer, I want a chute to open and it drops into the dryer. That would be cool. And then dries them. Two separate units because I get like washing and drying is different You, you technology. need two doors. You need two doors. The one in the front. Yeah. And then and you then open I'm, up the other one. You open up the other one. Drop straight through. No, I want it automated. I want to put uh. them in and set this and set this. And then it washes them. Trap door. And then it's done. Door opens, drops in. The door is closed. Dries them. A trap door. A trap door washer dryer. They're already connected. Just yes. Finish exactly. the Finish mm -hmm. the loop. 
You know what? But I have a washer and dryer, so I probably won't need another step for like 10 years, so I'm good. Exactly. Or that, or you can uh, get it made. I probably should. Yeah. I should probably erase that part of the show and make that. <laughs> and then I can retire and be like, yeah, that's my washer that's, and yeah, dryer. Exactly. Nobody probably wants that set for me. I, but if I could make it work, I bet other people would buy that. Mm-hmm. We should think about something like that. We should patent that. I should, I should, I could patent that without actually making it. Exactly. I could get up, the, drop the designs, and like be like, you know, and this is my idea, and like this is how it could work. I should do that. You'd have to have everything loaded though. When you put everything in the well, that's the thing is it's gonna be hard because I do multiple loads. I do three loads. Okay, but I mean, think of how many times are you sitting there and you put the clothes in the washer, and then you're like, oh, I need to like go run somewhere, but like I don't want my wa- my clothes to sit wet in the washer, mm. or like you forget to. To move them, yep. or like in the middle, of, or like you want to do a load of clothes white before you go to bed, but then you're like, oh, I have to wait for the washer, so I'm putting them in the dryer. You don't have to do that. Just put everything in the washer, throw the dryer sheet in the dryer so it's ready to go, and then it just does it for you. That, or you can, and then you can also have the you can have the dryer spring loaded to put in the in the basket. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you just have a multiple cycle going through. Man, or it's like it's like uh, Back to the Future when he mm-hmm. walks in and everything just does it automatically. Right. I just. I, I don't understand why you would stack. I mean, I get why originally you stacked them and couldn't do that because, like, you, the technology. I think you could do it now. Mm-hmm. It would just, it'd be hard because, exactly. like, you have this round cylinder and they have to have it open. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's complicated. There's a lot of things to overcome to do that. I'm yeah. not saying that, like, it'd be an easy as putting the door. And I get it. There's a lot of things you have to do to make that work. That being said, who would have thought 10 years ago we'd all be carrying around computers in our pockets that were stronger than what they used to go to the moon. Exactly. Okay, someone probably thought that, but I'm just saying the general public did not think that was possible, and we all have it. Speaking of cell phones. Speaking of Real cell quick, phones. I didn't really want to look at the story, but there is a conspiracy theory going on about an 800-year-old cell phone. Did you see that? I did, but I did not read the story. I didn't either. Because I, I said, uh, yeah, alien cell phone, huh? I'll wait till it's on Ancient Aliens and I'll exactly. watch it. Exactly. There you go. Because that dude with the crazy hair, mm-hmm. is he still on Ancient Aliens? I don't know. I don't know. think he is. I think he has his own show now, so. actually. So that's kind of sad. But that show's great. It cracks me up. I love it. Did you see the one about the pyramids? How they were like, the aliens made them to like, something about sending energy. They were like something some way that. of like energy, like make. Mm. Oh, Ancient Aliens, that show. It started out so funny and then they just got too serious about the aliens. And then I was like, oh. Some of those guys on there are very like some of the guys I think are kind of like jokingly about the aliens, and some of them are very serious. serious wow, I love it. I don't watch it anymore because, like I said, it's just like too it's get weird. It's too weird now. Gotcha. Um, Chris, I think that about wraps up. At, oh wait, 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 wait. There was one more thing, okay. Chris. What happened to all my wireless earbuds? I'm waiting. One I... pair is out shipping now Mm -hmm. they're the ones i decided not to get i was i almost did and then they were sold out i was like oh that's okay i didn't really want those ones because they like had like a bunch of fitness tracking stuff on Mm -hmm. them Uh, apparently they fit really well the guy the reviewer i saw they got some he said they fit great they work great i want the ear the ones by ear because it's just a headphone Mm -hmm. they say if you do them in mono which is how i mostly listen to my podcast with one ear in you can get 11 hours because you can there charge you one, listen to one, and switch them. Mm. So that's good. No release date yet. Yeah, those those LG tones, I don't like how they go over the neck. Nope. You don't want, that's I don't why want I'm like, that. no, no, no. Mm. If I'm going to go wireless, I want like a hearing aid wireless. Hearing like a little style. earbud that just goes in. And there's some that do that. And some of them are out. The, the what were they called? The Brandi Dash, something like that, right? They're there. Just not the ones I wanted. Mm. And so I continue the wait into 2016 for my wireless earbuds. Hopefully, hopefully by the end of the year, we will give you an update. One day. And James will be recording the podcast with one in his ear. No, I don't know. That delay would be really weird. (laughs) Actually, it wouldn't be that bad because I could, I honestly don't need to listen to the audio that's going into the computer. Mm. I could just buy do the bypass and it wouldn't be that bad of a delay. But I continue the wait. One day, I will have the earbuds that I can wear at work without the cables, and I will be happy. There you go. And all the audio people in the world will be like, why? The audio quality is not as good because it's Bluetooth and small. Don't care. 
I'm listening to it at work. I don't need it to sound great. I just need it to be convenient. That's that. That's that. So that's basically what I saw for. Um. Okay. Did you see that? See that that TV that you could roll up? Yes, I did. We were talking about that earlier this year, uh, last year. They and had one at CES. That LG one. Mm-hmm. They rolled it up. It's OLED. There were some cool computers actually at CES. I shouldn't say it was a complete watch. There was a cool Razer computer that's mm-hmm. a laptop that's like an Ultrabook. And then it has like an external graphics card, which isn't new. But the way they did it, it's just like this sweet little box that you can put a, any graphics card in it you want, AMD or NVIDIA or any, whatever. It's just one USB-C cable that plugs into the laptop to hook it up. And then you get this beautiful gaming laptop. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not as portable because you have to have this huge box. Yeah. But then you unplug it and you got this really light laptop that can do pretty much anything other than gaming mm-hmm. or anything that requires that much graphics card. Yeah. That was cool. Start at $999. No idea how much the box is going to cost. But Razer likes to do weird stuff, so who cares? Some cool tablets. Nothing that's life-changing, but some cool stuff. Cool. You know, I don't want to say it was a a down year it's a year where a lot of product is finally going to be realized mm-hmm. just not product that i'm super interested in right now gotcha but that's life chris yes let's wrap this thing up got it it's the home stretch wrap it up like the old so, tv exactly exactly say i'm a fellow listener mm-hmm. and i'd like to keep up with your day-to-day life how would i do that um it's about every other day-to-day life Mm. Uh, you can follow me at Never Lose Heart, and that is on Twitter. That is on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Mine's not as uh, creative as James. But it's more frequent. Yes. What's your Twitter? At James Walter. It's Walter with an O. Very easy. It's very easy. And I tweet sometimes. Yes, sometimes. I, I get updates from you, and you very rarely tweet anymore. I just... I like to tweet things that are interesting or... Like if I'm going to see a movie or something cool's happening, I don't like tweet like, hey, I woke up, I'm at work, I'm at home. Not because I don't find that interesting, but no one else does. Mm-hmm. I mean, some people like to see, okay, I shouldn't say nobody else does. Some people like to see that kind of stuff because like, oh, you look, you're a human. I just bumped the mic. That's going to sound great. I am a human. I don't need to tell the world when I'm at no. home or work or going you know, to the you bathroom. You need to tell the world that you're human. Because everyone knows that you are. Not everyone. Not everyone. Sometimes websites think I'm a robot and make me do those silly captures. <laughs> oh, I hate those. I am not a robot. Yes. Anyways, we have... Actually, we don't have captcha on our comms, I think. I just have a spam filter. Mm. I, ho- I think it's working. I don't know. We don't get any comments. And I guess no one's trying to leave comments because I'm sure they would have emailed me by now. I'm like, I can't leave comments on the website. I don't know. Maybe they just gave up. Speaking of the website. Speaking of the website. We that, do have a website. That's uh, theweeklyflare.com. Mm-hmm. Man, can you imagine a year ago, we were trying to figure out what the name is podcast. Yes, that's true. A year wow. ago, we were. And I remember sending you a lot of name ideas. Yes, and I think we were going back and forth, back and forth, back and mm-hmm. forth. We couldn't figure out what mm-hmm. to do. So, theweeklyflare.com. That's where you can find our bios, our Twitter, Instagram. YouTube. Uh, YouTube. And soon, Google Play Podcast download, there whenever that happens. Whenever it happens. Hopefully next week. Sometime soon. That's all they're saying. And by soon, they mean sometime in the first half of 2016. I'm James. He's Chris. That's a cool box. We'll see you guys again next week. Peace.